Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Envy. Today we have some interesting news coming to you guys. Now, before we get into the news, there is going to be a link in the description which you need to follow. We just started a brand new newsletter that can get you up to speed with news, updates, and certain things that we couldn't cover within the week. And of course, a couple of things that you would probably miss that isn't so video news worthy. All of those things are gonna be in that newsletter. So simply go over to the Google form, fill up that and get informed with it once the newsletter is out every single week. So with that said, let's get right into it. So sometime in 1959, Neil Bohin invented the V-Type 3-point safety seat belt. Fast forward 63 years after that, we have that seat belt as the gold standard for seat belt. Now the beautiful thing about all of this is when this was created, this invention was made available to the public because it was good, it was going to save lives and in today's world, regardless of the vehicle that you're using, the 3-point belt is the gold standard for safety. Dialing that to the news which we have today, we are looking at Intel. A few days back, there was a tweet from Intel senior principal engineer Gene Jeffers and in this tweet he shows an experimental build of the open image denoiser inside Blender Cycles renderer on a laptop with an Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080. Now what was beautiful is in the render is the fact that what we are looking at is a CPU and GPU render. So for those who have no idea the open image denoiser is a technology that has been available for a very long time and this is built based off the one DNN neural network library which simply means that it uses AI approaches to accelerate denoising for CG rendered images which is Quite similar to Nvidia's GPU based noising technology called Optics. Now both Optics and the Open Image Noiser has been integrated into many production renderers and also DCC apps but the implementation of the Open Image Noiser which we're looking at right now is not only a support for multi GPUs but is also a support for GPUs of all type. You see Unlike optics, the open image denoiser isn't hardware specific. And while the Intel open image denoiser was specifically built for Intel 64 CPU, it is also supported for open and close quote compatible architectures. And to me, this is more like an extension of technology as this is also supported for AMD CPUs. And with the version 1.4 update sometime last year, Apple's new M1 processor was also included. This in itself will allow users of various hardware take advantage of Intel's high fidelity AI based denoiser. And this exactly is what I see as extension of technology, compatibility and development. And to make things more clearer, if you go over to Blender, which is our use case example right here for DCC app, you would notice by default we have the CUDA, which is basically Nvidia, we have the Optics, which is Nvidia as well, and we have Heat, which is AMD. Of course, you can find anyone here since we don't have an AMD GPU. So what this new development is going to create is not the fact that you can use your Nvidia or your AMD card. It is the simple fact that once you're rendering with cycles and you go all the way down here where you have your denoiser, you can use your open image denoiser with your GPU. At this point, this is only supported for CPU. Now, this is regardless whether you choose to switch the device from CPU to GPU, it is still going to tell you the very same thing. So there is a whole lot of possibilities and opportunities that this is going to open up for those who would like to leverage of their powerful GPU setup to get the denoising happening faster, compared to relying on your CPU. And the best part, this is definitely going to be worth it if you're using either an M1, an AMD, or an Intel CPU alongside with different kinds of GPUs. And for those who would like to get this model, link is also gonna be in the description to get it for free. Meanwhile, there are also rumors of Intel 13th generation core series to feature high performance micro architecture, which will probably be called Raptor Cove. And while there are still considerable rumors coming to GPUs and also CPUs, the idea that we will be able to use all of this technology and get a better render is just awesome. And with the demo which we're looking at right now that is in Blender, there is currently no testable build that would allow you work with this at this point. So once this becomes public, we'll definitely jump on it and talk about it. But the whole idea that Intel is making this possible for artists to enjoy a cross-architectural CPU, GPU, multi-vendor compatibility and get the job done is just awesome. 
Currently, it's uncertain if this is finally going to end up being a collaboration between GPU and CPU in the sense that you can use the both of them at once, but so far so good, this is looking promising. So this is more like it. For those who like to jump on the tweet, see what it looks like. For those who would also want to read up on all of these, links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, don't forget to join the newsletter where you can catch up with all of the updates that's happening within the week, and that's about it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section, and of course, if you like this video, or you learned something from it, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.